There we go. I mean, safe is not what I would call this, but... Oh no, that was a mistake. I should have definitely thought about that. Right, come on, let's just try and move closer. Alright, we dealt with that. I think there's another one. Yeah, there is another one. Is that a skeleton spawner? It better not be. Alright. Boom, there you go, right. Half a heart. I'm a half heart hero. Pretty sure that's a meme in Red Ultra Hardcore. To be honest, it's probably a meme in Ultra Hardcore. Full stop. Uh, and I do see a tunnel up ahead. Could this be the way to intersection number three? Because that's usually what these denote. Oh, there's going to be like scale. I'm not sure. I don't think if you shoot arrows and they go through lava, they catch on fire like they do. But as you can see, this is in fact intersection three. Caves of confusion. Yeah, that makes sense. Home of victory. Oh, could this be what I think it is? I, I really hope this is food. At it. I really need food. Like, of all things in the world right now, food is what I need. I know it's been a long time before seeing this, but in the end you will find this location convenient. It's not really been a long time. I've still to explore intersection 1. Alright. Hopefully one of these trees don't grow and kill me. That would be very, very inconvenient for my uh, progress. But as you can see, we found the victory monument. And we don't actually have anything to put onto it. Oh, what's up there? No idea. But we can we can check that out in a bit. Right. What do we have here? Uh, does this make up for the Caves of Confusion? I mean, they weren't that difficult. I'm just, like, close to death because of my own stupidity. Uh, you don't have to use this area, but I figured I'd save you some tedious digging and make rooms for you. Oh, nice. We've got a tree farm. We've got a place where we can get seeds. I'm sorely tempted to take up that offer. Um, we can make a, a garden utensil and we can uh, get growing this stuff instantly, which is good. I do hear um, chickens as well, which I would say no to. There we go. Time to farm. And finally, we've got some food. Like, some actual food. Wonderful. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's very good. Uh, we've got the big room here. I'm going to go and check out what's over here. See if there's uh, maybe a chest with a... Uh, oh, oh, chests. With a bed. We've got glowstone. That'll be useful. Minecarts, leather. And we can only sleep at night. Of course we can. Right, well, yeah, I'll probably move my base over here eventually. But the problem is we've got to go all the way back to... Uh, intersection... Was it like intersection... One, and we need to do some of the stuff there. Although, hopefully, we're not going to be as undergeared. Oh, it's turning night. Yeah, I'm going to set my spawn here. Although, I probably won't set it in that room just because it's not very convenient, is it? Right, setting our spawn here. Oh, I see the chicken. Right up there. I wonder why there of all places. I wonder if it was. Oh, I see. There's some uh, bedrock. Could it be that... Wait, hang on. Please don't try to spread grass from here. Thanks. Just... Oh, he says, just enjoy... Just enjoy your chick chickens. Don't make me regret being nice to you for a change. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm very tempted to spread the grass just to get back at him. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not exactly going to bring out a new map, and uh, I, we should go up there. There may be something useful. Uh, oh, flip. I, I would say we could go up there, but as it happens, I don't have any uh, logs. 
Uh, yeah, it's not like he's going to make a new map and make it doubly hard because we uh, we spread grass here when he told us not to. See, here's the thing, right? So I remember when Inferno Mines came out. I've never played Inferno Mines. Uh, someone I used to talk to, uh, JC, he did. Uh, I've never played it. I've never seen it played. But when that first came out, I remember they were talking about it, saying, oh, Inferno Mines, did you see how much, like, items Vex gives you? And I can kind of see where they're coming from, because, like, I've got very, very few items in this. And yet, like, a lot of the CTMs I've done recently, maybe not so much the Vex ones, but things like, uh, what'd you call it? That one I did with Zenger. What was it called again? Corona Trials. Got a lot of items in that. Waking up, got a lot of items in that. Uncharted Territories, there was a lot of items, to be fair, in certainly the third map. I think all of those maps had items in them. I think I, I really enjoyed Uncharted Territories. Definitely one of the uh, the better maps. Ah! What do we have here? Oh. I think I'm just going to walk down these. Oh. There we go. I'll deal with them myself. This feels so good to have a way of getting food as well as full hunger. There we go. Right. Let's uh let's just put down a few lights, I guess. Make this place that wee bit safer. This probably goes to intersection two, that probably goes to intersection one, that would be my guess. Uh, should we take a minecart? I kind of want to, even though uh, it didn't go so well for us last time. Alright, we'll go this way first, I guess. Oh, if this is a trap, I'm going to be so miffed. Whoa! Oh, right. Okay, looks like we're chasing the minecart. Moving ever slower. Here we go. Boom, right. We're just going to be very wary, ready to jump at any given opportunity. And hopefully it doesn't like drop us in lava. You can tell why I'm paranoid about that. That being said, we don't have any well, what do we have that's good on us? Enderpearls? Let's get them on our bar. Just in case. Uh yep, let's take us all the way back to intersection two. Hey, dig, dig. You can't tell me what to do. The sound seems so low. Alright. Hey! Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a tunnel down the side, just because I, fi I think that's probably th <coughs> the safest course of action. And we'll see. We'll see what we get with it. I wonder if Double OG or Uge played this map back in the day. I wonder how many times they died. I wonder how many times I've died right enough. Uh, <laughs> I just realised, look at the oh, number of deaths, 13. Look at how small this is. Like, how small the tab screen is compared with... Uh, well, the tab screen... Eh, not the tab screen, the stat screen. Look how small and, you know, lacking information it is compared with the stat screen of today. It's... It's funny to think about it like that, or at least for me it is. It shows just how far the game has come. Right. That should be fine. Made it all the way back here. We've still not explored the Cave of Confusion for wool. We need to... Yeah, we still need to find wool, but we'll take all of our stuff over to the Victory Monument, including the wool. Okay, so I brought most of my stuff over here. As you can see, we do have all the wool. Uh, well, not all the wool, but I am going to now work on placing it. So first of all, we've got magenta, we got yellow, and we got light blue. We're missing, uh, obviously, white and orange from the first two sections, and I think light green would have been the one that was... Uh, over by the maze of whatever it was called. Maze of insecurity. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, that's not what it was called. Uh, so we're going to go back there. We're going to see if 
we can find it. I'm going to take a bunch of blocks with me. I'm also going to take some food. I'm going to go and make a bunch of bone meal. We're going to bone meal a bunch of wheat. And hopefully that will help us to survive longer than we would otherwise. Right, we're going to continue with our excursion in the cave of despair. Oh, I don't know what I can't, or not a cave, the maze of despair, whatever. It's not called that, but it's called something to that effect. It's confusing. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we do here. I'm sure there was another spawner around here. There was, a, there was what, three creeper spawners? I'm sure there was more. Uh, but anyway, we've got... Uh, I brought logs with us. I brought food. <laughs> we've got torches. Stuff we've not had throughout the duration of this map. I'm sorry, I thought there was a corridor behind that. I'm guessing the wall's going to be like behind a bunch of cobweb. Because I... I'm pretty sure we've covered a decent extent to this maze and I've found nothing, so we're going to have to look a little closer, is what I'm trying to say. Clearly a slime chunk there. Alright, what's up here? I mean, to be fair though, there is there's potential, given how high up this particular room goes. Potential for what, I don't know, but there's potential. There's some, at least there's something. Right, let's head up here then. I guess it would make sense. Yeah, it would make sense it being upward because that makes it, you know, more risky for the player to attempt. Don't you dare shoot me. I don't know if he attempted to shoot me, but he missed if he did. There we go. Yeah, so this is an unexplored area. Oh, that was not good. I got caught there. We'll keep going up, I guess. Up and up and up and up. See how far we can get. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Spider. Alright, he's done. Oh, almost jumped off there. There was loads of... I'm trying to think of uh, maps where there was loads of stone. Like, there was loads of stone in Infernal Sky, but obviously very few trees. There was loads of stone in... I'm trying to remember what other maps. Spellbound, there was loads of stone. Uh, but obviously there was some maps where there just wasn't as much. There's some dirt up there. We've come into a section of cave where mushrooms seem to play a predominant role. Not been here before. Let us... Ooh, what's under here? Nothing. It's just a light. It's just for effect, I'm sure. So yeah, this... Ooh, hang on. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a, a gap in the ceiling. I mean, we might as well pick up the mushrooms. Might find a red farm. A red mushroom farm. I'm intrigued as to what's behind this. Oh, okay, right. Well, there you go. Thankfully, we've uh, we, we got enough dust to remake it. Right, well, I'm going to leave that stuff alone and we're going to pursue our search for the wool, which I assume is going to be here. We're going to pursue that in another location. There we go. Uh oh. There we go, we got out of that one, thankfully. I was not doing a good job of getting critical hits there. Let's eat up some bread, which will probably go very, very quickly. Oh, there's nothing down here. Darn it, there is one other way that we haven't explored, and that was back here. Hmm. Why did I go in for that guy? I should have shot him from a distance. There's more in the way of... Uh, cobwebs here, which suggests it's, uh, well, it doesn't really suggest anything, but it just gives me the impression there's something here. Let's have a, a quick look through the webs. There's nothing there. Uh, 
Nothing there either. Hmm. Is this it? Oh no. Whoa! Oh, things just got dangerous. There we go. Yeah, I'm still on the hunt for this uh, Bally Wool. Did that guy just spawn up there? Or has he always been up there? Hmm. Alright, well, I mean... There's only so many places you can look real realistically. There's clearly spawners, because I think that spider spawned right in front of me. That was on purpose, so that uh, we could get an, uh, an easy advantage over the creepers. Hmm. So I've been here. Feels like I've been everywhere within the maze. Certainly in the, f in the early part. We could dig the coal, that's one thing we could work on, but apart from that, there's nothing else we can really, uh, we can really do. 